being part of the diaspora, so I'm also first generation Nigerian, and so that adds to my Britishness a bit, like it gives it a little spice, a little seasoning, you know. I'm Singaporean until I was like 16, mm. um, so I still very much feel very Singaporean. Yeah, you might speak the same languages, but different phrases might make something completely different. People say lush, oh, like, gosh, this food yeah. is lush. It's just good, right? Yeah. Anything can be lush. <laughs> you've obviously been here for, you know, coming up to a decade. Is there any yeah. phrases that you think you've used thought, okay, I, I'm, I'm a local now. Or when I first felt more yeah. like a local, maybe it was when I started calling my husband like mate. I have to say that is a phrase that I yeah. use a lot. Honestly. So tell me a little bit more about Singlish, because this is the first I'm ever hearing of it. Essentially, it's just a mixture of like English words and then we add a lot of like extra words at the end. Like, so instead of just saying no, we say like, no la. You don't say, may I please have a nice tea? You say, ice tea oh please. You know, like oh, just kind of in that like, we I just keep things that. like short, even though yeah. we add things at the end. <laughs> if you ate something, you say, was that really good? In Singlish, you would say, was it really good meh? <laughs> that sort of thing. So I can say like, no meh, for example. See, not really. No. So that's more of a la kind of thing. I, I, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites, something called kiasu. In English, what it means is like someone who's like, they feel left out if they're not getting involved. Oh, interesting. That's a really great word. I guess actually now I think about it, but there's so many ways to say goodbye here. Yeah. Bye, take care, see you later. I mean, in Singapore, all we do is bye. Huh. <laughs> <laughs>